Tomorrow is expected to be a banner day for Boston businesses. NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg is live at Copley Square with that part of the story. Eli. Well, it turns out, Glenn, that winning basketball is big business for the Celtics here at TD Garden, but also for local companies. And with tens of thousands and thousands of people headed into Boston tomorrow, those local businesses are looking to cash in one more time. If you want to know the power of these Boston Celtics, look no further than the hundreds in line at a local restaurant this afternoon. Hoping for a chance to meet Al Horford. That was amazing. I got a, I got a uh, cane sauce from Al Horford. The green team has a lot of businesses in Boston seen green because Boston is buzzing. From head coach Joe Missoula parading around the North End with the Larry O'Brien trophy to this sign today at the McDonald's on Soldiers Field Road. And inside workers here aren't lying. Jason Tatum, we are told, likes his fries well done. We estimate, and that's with the help of the NBA, about six million a game. So, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good number. And the winning continues on Friday, bringing a crush of fans into town, a day usually quiet as people work from home. A lot of these small businesses that might not have infusions of people, you know, during the day, lunch business, um, you know, happy hour business are going to really reap the benefits of this parade being here on a Friday. People want to be around this, the, the excitement and, the, and be part of it. At Abe and Louis on Boylston, they only get days like tomorrow once a year, Marathon Monday. So a parade passing out front in June is huge. Because of Marathon, we're so used to it, we're so prepared, we know what to do, we get the staff, we get the ice, our vendors come a day early, so we're definitely ready, it's exciting, and uh, it's great for the city. And it's not just the games, it's not just the parade. If you watched any of the finals on TV, you saw those beautiful drone shots of Boston, TD Garden, the Zakem Bridge here. Well, talking with Meet Boston, they say that really resonates with people. So more and more people may visit Boston, further paying dividends in the months ahead. Live outside TD Garden, Eli Rosenberg, NBC 10 Boston.